camera 11 then from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1. Five mark question in two parts. You've got a graph and you've got logs more. But what's it anyway? The first part for two marks. You're shown the graph of y equals log 3x and you've to sketch the graph of 1 minus log base 3 of x. Well, if you were given this, if it simply said, here's the graph of y equals f of x, and it didn't give you the formulas, and then it said, now sketch the graph of 1 minus f of x, you wouldn't think anything of that. The only difference here is, it explicitly says what f of x is. Now, of course, that y equals f of x, that f, the value of that function, is equivalent to the y-coordinate. You can think of f standing for the y-coordinate, because that would be the evaluated result when you put in x. So this one says the new y-coordinate, this new graph, the new y-coordinate is going to be 1, take away the old y-coordinate. Nothing's happening to x inside, so there's no changes in x. So one way of doing this is just to pick that point there that you know. What happens to the point 3, 1? Well, according to this, nothing happens to x, so x stays the same. What happens to y? Well, y is f. The new y will be 1 minus the old y. 1 minus the old y, which is 1, so that should go to 3, 0. That point there should end up there at 3, 0. Well, we're just using the original thing then. This says negative f of x is flip it up. The new y coordinates are the negatives of the originals, so flip it about the x axis. So everything above goes below, and everything below goes above. And then plus 1 means add 1 on, so it all shifts up 1 to there. Make sure you shift up to the right place, that's why it's handy to do this. So this new graph should cut the x axis at 3, 0, like that. So it's cutting at 3 now. Now there's two marks here. The first mark was for flipping it about the x-axis and the second mark was for lifting it up one so it intersects and showing that it intersects at three. Watch though, make sure that this part here doesn't cross over the y-axis. This line is meant to be an asymptote to the y-axis. In other words, it gets as close as it likes without touching it. Same should happen up there. Right, part B then. Determine the exact value of the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. Just the x-coordinate though. Well, it's a point of intersection, so substitute the two equations. The two equations must give the same values of the coordinates there. The y-coordinate must be the same as the y-coordinate. Log 3 of x should be the same as 1 minus log 3 of x. And in fact, just writing that gets a mark. Now let's just solve this for x. We'll bring that over. That'll be plus, you now have two lots of log 3 of x equals 1. Now there's just two steps to the answer. Get rid of the 2, get rid of the log. Well, log 3 of x, equal, because you've got a choice here, maybe you'd pop that 2 inside and have a square. Then it would be get rid of the log, get rid of the square. You're safer just leaving that outside. Take that 2 across and divide. That was one step. And true enough, that's a mark. Get rid of the log. Now, you could rewrite that as a log base 3 if you like, but that just means guessing the answer and then putting the answer back into the part of the question that's going to lead to the answer. The simplest way is just to say what's the inverse of the function log base 3? It's 3 to the power. So the answer is 3 to the power of half. You could rewrite that as root 3 if you wanted. And there shouldn't be any need to state x is greater than 0 because that's already implied by the graph here. Another way would have been at this point to say, well, log base 3 of pop the 2 inside, x squared is 1. If you'd done that, that would have been a mark. Which would have meant x squared would have been, then you can either think, if it's base 3, then 1 is equal to log base 3 of 3, maybe you're told that, and then you can equate that with the 3. It's simple just to say the inverse of log base 3 is 3 to the power. So if x squared is 3, that means x must be root 3. Remembering, of course, x is greater than 0. And that will give you that last mark.